It is the last part of August. We're almost into September. The honey flow is over. The three honey supers on top of these hives are almost completely filled and capped. Not quite yet, so not quite ready to harvest. But this hive over here is really low on honey stores. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna feed this hive over here. Typically I would remove all the honey supers before I would do that as I'm getting them ready for winter. Want to make sure that they have plenty of food stores in the brood boxes below. But since these honey supers are not done yet, I'm going to leave the honey super on and add a feeder to this hive over here on the left to help them boost the food stores down in the bottom two brood boxes and to help stimulate the queen to start laying. I just put a new queen in here. She is laying, but she's laying very lightly. And I think it's because it's lack of food. She won't lay if there's no food for the kids. The other two hives here are rock solid, very busy, full hives. When I pull out a frame, bees cover it uh, top to bottom, side to side. Lots of brood, lots of stored honey down in the brood boxes, so these are doing great. This year I've replaced the queen over there about two months ago, and she's doing wonderful. The queen here is doing great. She's one year old, and I just replaced this queen last week. I have everything prepped. I have my smoker going. I've got my entrance reducer because when I feed a hive, even though I'm using a top feeder, I always want to reduce the entrance to avoid robbing. I've got four pounds of granulated sugar and water mixed here, ready to go. And I've got my pitcher that I'll pour the syrup into here and then pour it into my screen covered top feeder over there. I'll be removing the queen excluder from all three of these hives here just so the bees are able to move around more easily and finish off the honey supers. I'm not concerned about the queen laying up here because there, every cell has honey in it so there's no room for her to lay but I do want to make it easier for the bees to get around the hive. So this is coming off. I removed the queen excluder, put the top feeder on. This particular top feeder I added window screen to it so the bees can come up and not fly out as I'm taking care of them. I filled it up with a gallon of sugar water on each side and now I'm just going to put the inner cover and the top cover on it and I'm done. I was in this hive for less than three minutes. I'm on my last hive. When I open up a hive I love seeing lots of bees up on the surface. I opened up this hive and took off the top cover and there were lots of bees right underneath the inner cover coming up through the hole. So more bees is better as long as the queen has room to lay eggs and they have room to store honey. I'm happy. The more bees means the better defense they have, the better they can maintain against wasps and other insects that want to invade, the better they can corral the hive beetle and keep the wax moth at bay. Also going into winter, they'll have more bodies to keep the hive warm. So a big hive is a healthy hive and a good hive to have. At this point I haven't used any smoke, although I have my smoker right behind me. I only use the smoke when I need to to move the bees out of the way when I put boxes back on. Rarely do I use it when I'm working with the bees because it simply irritates them. They seem to be more gentler and easier to work with without the smoke. If they start really getting agitated, I just step back, give them some time, or if I need to, I'll give them a couple puffs of smoke. But here, to get the bees off, I'm simply going to take this queen occluder off, shake it over the hive a couple times. That will probably get 99% of them off, and I'll use a brush to get the rest off. I'm done working in the hives today. I removed the queen excluders, added a top feeder to hive number one, and got out of the way. As you can see, the smoker's still going. So I'm gonna take my cork, put it right here in the entrance. The pine needles that are inside will stop burning. I'll use that as fuel to start the next batch when I come out and work with my bees. Here are the hives now. You can see I've got the entrance reducer right here on the hive that I've added the top feeder too. You can see that I've removed the queen excluders. So if you're in September, August, you need to start thinking about winterizing your bees. If they don't have enough honey stored in their brood box, you might need to help them out. If you've got another honey flow coming on, they may just be fine. These two hives, I'm not going to worry about. They have plenty of honey in here. This one was light, so I decided to help it out. It doesn't take a lot of time, but it does take time, and you should be in your hives probably at least once a month, if not every couple weeks, just to see how they're doing and making sure that they're doing fine. 
This is LDS Prepper reminding you, if you are prepared, you shall not fear. And as a good beekeeper, you can help your bees be prepared for winter by making sure they have plenty of honey stores in the brood box.